okay in this linear programming um, you should know the definitions definition means uh, like what is bounded what is unbounded what is constraints what is subjective means what what is optimal point these things are given in black letters in the book so you should know the definition then uh, the important thing that you should be able to convert the given problem into set of equations and the constraints okay this is important here so the problem may be in words like this this is a problem okay okay a furniture dealer this is a problem so you should be able to convert that into set of equations and constraints then uh, draw the graph then find whether it is bounded or unbounded and uh, mark the region then finding the optimal point okay okay this is a problem a linear programming problem now they will convert this problem see these are the thing uh, it's a, these are the definitions you should know what is linear programming optimization problems okay so what is linear programming this is finding the maximum profit minimum in this in this problem you should find the maximum profit minimum cost okay so here we are going to use the graphical method these are the constraints from the problem what is constraint so the investment is limited to 50000 only okay that is one constraint okay then storage phase for 60 pieces only that is an own constraint so what is constraint okay so our aim is to get the maximum profit okay that is the objective so we have to find the mathematical formulation of the problems okay so these are the variable assigned to tables uh, and chairs so number will be greater than uh, zero only it will not be a negative so uh, this is how they formulate the problem okay this investment should be less than or equal to 50000 okay if you divide 500 on both side you will get this 5x plus the same equation will be reduced to this you divide both the left side and right side by 500 that is for some simplification purpose only and this is the limitation of the storage okay this is one equation this is another equation okay then uh, our objective function is to maximize the profit okay this is the objective function okay now they converted that given problem into the equations with the constraints okay formulation of the problem it is a very important thing in each linear programming problem so you should read the problem and convert into the set of equations this is the set of linear equations the variable or non-negative okay so these are the definition i told you optimal value this is linear the, okay they highlighted this these definitions you should read these definitions this is the objective is to maximize the profit constraints optimization problem okay now you have to use the graphical method to find the optimum solution that is uh, uh, that gives a maximum profit for the given problem okay mm. so what is feasible region what is uh, non feasible region okay the common region determined by the all constraint including the non negative uh, linear problem problem is called the feasible region or the solution region okay for this problem this is the feasible region okay this uh, colored region is the feasible region all the other region is the non feasible region okay infeasible infeasible region okay colored is feasible other regions are infeasible region see how you draw this line for the uh, given equation okay the 5x plus y see this is 5x plus y should be less than 100 okay now you put first x equal to 0 
then y is 100 okay y over x 0 y is 100 okay this is x 0 here so y is 100 here okay this is one point the other point see for this equation this is the line okay this line is for this equation x is 0 y is 100 y is 0 x is 20 okay because y is 0 phi x equal to 100 so x equal to 20 this is the 20 okay 20 comma 0 like that for all the other equation also you should draw so this is the intersecting point okay now in this uh, feasible region how do you find the optimal point because there are four points one two uh, three points are there here so you have to choose one as the optimum solution so optimal point so how do you choose it so these are the theorems okay so let r be the feasible region um, converse polynomial programming this is the objective function objective function is set as the optimum value maximum or minimum where the variables x y and are subject to the constraint described with the, the optimum value must occur at the corner point vertex of the feasible region okay the optimal point is the vertex these one two three these are the vertex of this this is one of the point is the optimal point okay this is theorem one theorem two let r be the feasible region if r is bounded okay bounded what is bounded means you can uh, you should be able to draw the circle i will show you okay then the objective function is set as both maximum and r in each case occur the corner point that is of the r okay that is also corner point only maximum minimum remark if you, uh, that is for the bounded if r is unbounded unbounded okay so there is no bound then the maximum or minimum value of the algebra may not exist okay may not exist okay it may exist may not however if it exists it must occur uh, at the corner point of the r okay as per theorem one so now in this uh, all the corner point uh, now you do the uh, maximum this uh, profit how much profit is coming for 0 0 0 0 60 if you substitute the dz is that equal to 50x plus 70y okay 250 okay this is 7 into 6 70y okay now this is the maximum at this point see now what is bounded and unbounded okay so corner point on the pc is the point in the region which is intersection of the two boundary okay these are the corner point what is bounded bounded if it can be enclosed within a circle okay that region can be enclosed within a circle unbounded mean it will extend up to infinite so we cannot uh, enclose that within a circle okay unbounded region cannot be enclosed within a circle but bounded we can enclose this is called corner point method so you can read what is bounded and unbound m or the maximum and the minimum point of the x in case we is unbound we get when it is unbounded we have these two set of the uh, rules okay if uh, m is the maximum value of a set if the open off line determined by x plus y is greater than m has no point in common okay no point in common this equation and the region has no bound boundary no point in common with the fusible region otherwise is it has no maximum value okay okay if uh, similarly m is the minimum value this is the maximum value and is that then it is open off line determined by x by as no point in common which is visible okay only uh, if it doesn't have a any point in common then there is a optimal point otherwise no okay now solve this max you have to maximize this with the set of this equation this constraints and equation 
so it is a bounded okay so again you have to draw these uh, lines uh, as i said first you have to take x equal to 0 then y will get 90 then y equal to 0 x equal to 30 similarly for this graph then uh, how this region because see x is greater than or equal to 0 y is greater than or equal to 0 and this you see less than x plus y less than 50 the less than 90 okay or uh, satisfying all the condition this is a region okay this region cannot be less than uh, that 50 90 only this region so this is the optimal maximum value this is the optimal point so here we are going to minimize it okay and these are see here it here greater than or equal here less than or equal so you have to see these conditions based on that you have to choose based on that condition okay this is region not this region okay so why not this region should be greater than or equal to 10 x plus 2 y x is suppose 0 uh, y 5 means x plus uh, 2y should be greater than 10 okay so it will be here only not here it should not it will not be here below okay because below means uh, here see if you say in this point let us say 4 uh, y equal to 4 then it will be 8 okay 2 into 4 8 x equal to 0 so 8 that is not greater than or equal to 10 okay that is why greater than this region is come greater than or equal to 10 okay choose okay so after that uh, uh, this uh, using this minimize this equation uh, for each corner point for this point you find out the z then choose the minimum value okay here minimize and maximize so again based on these conditions you draw the graph here you see see for this condition also you see this line x equal to y here for this condition x should be less than or equal to y x should be less than then only uh, this is why they have chosen this region not this region this will be x greater than y will come in this region so you should not choose this region because x is less than or equal to y so you should choose this region okay so choosing region is important okay formulating the problem then choosing graph then choosing the region okay now you see more than one point at the same value two corner points so when you have multiple points in one line okay see here c and d c and d okay these two points so what they are saying in between this line each and every point will have the same value 180 only c and d that is what they are saying so every point on the line cd joining the two corners c and d will give the same maximum value okay that is important okay this 180 will come between c and d at any point here you see here if you take uh, whatever this point see there also you will get the 180 so here also 180 here also 180 mean between these two points in any point uh, between these two will have the value of 180 that is important okay here minimum value so here unbounded region okay so now again um, see this is the z value this how they arrive this equation because taking this minimum value okay minimum value 6 comma 0 if substitute 6 comma 0 then you will get uh, five, this will become 300 this is 0 so that is why this equation okay 300 on both side they divided by 10 then 300 will become 30 5 here 5 2 okay 5 to 30 okay now again you draw the graph 
see the from this point it will be see y line is going down because there is a if you extend this then there is a negative value for example if you say x equal to 0 here this term will become 0 y will become minus 15 okay minus 15 is somewhere here okay here that is why this line is extending okay the this line is extending similarly if you put some other value this line will go up mm -hmm. so now you see this is a dotted line okay this profit uh, this equation minimum and maximum equation so in this line they have mentioned in the dotted okay that is important okay so this is unicord line dotted line so here wherever you see r was extending they are extending further okay now in this this unbounded problem it has a common point here okay now when you have unbounded So it uh, minus 300 for this may or may not be minimum value of the Z. So we graph inequality, inequality, okay, they are finding this equation. This is using the 6, 0 value for X and Y, this 300 will come, minus 300 will come, uh, 6, 0 value, okay, minus 300 will come. So divide 10 on both sides, so you will get this value because it has common points uh, so much because this uh, this line and this unbounded region unbounded region is from this uh, place to this place so they have the common point this line and unbounded as a common point this is not the optimal solution so minus 300 will not be optimum we said this is based on that theorem okay okay this is based on that theorem three theorems okay common point so no minimum value for this sub, uh, value subject with the given constraint so here minimize again uh, these are the conditions okay so here uh, important thing is that here see uh, figure you can see that there is no point satisfying all the constraints simultaneously okay there is no overlap so this is one region and this is the other region okay here it is down 3x plus 5y for this constraint this is the region less than 15 okay so the less than this is the region okay this region and for this condition this is region okay there is no intersecting point okay so there is no feasible solution for this problem okay no feasible solution important Visibly always convex region, okay. So I already showed you when you have more than one optimal point, then every point line joining those will have the same maximum value. I have shown you between C and D 180, so above. Okay, here you can try if you have time, you try everything, otherwise, at least you try this. this. There are different types of linear programming problem. One is uh, how you use this linear programming in the manufacturing problems, diet problems, transportation problems. Okay, this is uh, one example of a diet problem. Okay, in the food, how much vitamin C and how much vitamin A is there? Okay, based on this problem, and so uh, they are at this table and you formulate this into set of equation, this formulation. Okay. And then this is what our objective okay uh, total cost of the purchasing okay this should be here so you have to minimize this minimize okay then again you draw the graph then uh, after that uh, you see this feasible region is unbounded okay this region is a feasible region okay that is uh, unbounded it is open ended you cannot uh, draw a circle because it goes up to infinity so this is the minimum okay now you see this whatever the objective function is a dotted line is here that uh, okay so this is the dotted line dotted okay is important 
see how you find from this equation again uh, these points okay so you put let us say uh, when y equal to 0 5x equal to 38 means uh, so x will be between 7 and 8 okay x between 7 and 8 uh, so x here between this 6 and this is 8 so 7 and 8 between this here now if you put, uh, make x 0 then y is between 5 and 6 okay y this line here is 5 and 6 okay so from this point you extend uh, joining these points okay this is the uh, in your catalytic line okay graph of it has no points in common okay so this is the unbounded feasible region and this is that line which doesn't have any points in this region so so this is the optimum solution okay if it has a common point then there is no optimum solution it, it doesn't have the common point so this is the solution 2 kg of food 1 4 kg of food 2 okay 2 comma 4 that is the solution optimum point this is the allocation problem so again the important thing from this problem you should be able to formulate that is the formula with the constraint that is the important thing then the graph okay then finding the here they are asking the maximum okay this is the point manufacturing sector so region again is bounded and uh, from the bounded it is the maximum here see here uh, these are set up you should try to take uh, one one problem from the different manufacturing sector diet uh, diet that is food sector then transportation sector like that you take something and try okay because each sector that formulation uh, that is making equation from that given data will vary so you should take uh, different things and try okay these are uh, miscellaneous examples okay for this is a diet problem manufacturing problem transportation problem so here they are using some kind of flow chart okay so again each chapter summary is important okay so this will give the um, overall information in, uh, within one or two pages they summarize the overall information okay these are the definitions decision variable constraints re bounded under unbounded region feasible region infeasible region infeasible solution these are the theorems okay corner point method so uh, if it has a common point then uh, no feasible solution no common point then there is a feasible okay this is how linear programming is used in world war 2 you can go through it